John in Ponty Priest was just making the point uh, that you've missed the whole point of X-Men yeah. 3. He says it's exactly what we wanted. Millions of fans agree. What do critics know anyway? And Iceman didn't do an ice slide, but I don't care. He was good fun. It sounds though the people who really love X-Men really love this movie. No, they don't. And can I just say that um, I have, I, there are very few things that I would take offence at. But being lumped in with Harry Knowles is one of them. Just explain who he is. Well, Harry Knowles is the guy who runs Ain't It Cool, the, this website, which, which uh, some people consider to be you know, some sort of great, great you know, movie information. I have a differing opinion about that. And Harry Knowles' form of... Well, let's, uh, let's not even call it film criticism. Look, the fact is, Brett Ratner is a hack. He's the kind of guy that you do bring in at the last minute because you haven't got the person that you wanted to get. Um, all the depth, all... I, mean, I don't think there was that much depth in the first place, frankly, but all the stuff that Brian Singer put into the first movie is just not there in the third one. It plays to a much more, you know, mainstream, rounded, every, all the edges taken off everything, smooth, let's wrap it up nicely. And, you know, Ratner, Ratner is the person that you get in when you want to remake Red Dragon with, you know, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Who can we get to do it? Because obviously no respectful film. I go, let's get Brett Ratner. However, that is clearly a matter of opinion, and that's something... But I take exception to being compared to Harry Knowles, and I'm sure that Harry Knowles would feel exactly the same way. At least, I hope he would. <laughs>